Okay, I'm here with Bjorn Andersson. You scored the one and only goal in the bronze medal match against uh, Riksu. That was a very physical, tough match. Yeah, you, you, you have to say that. They were putting a lot of pressure on us. and um, I think we did okay. Uh, we kept them away from the goal uh, throughout the match. And uh, we managed to score when it was possible for us. Um, so it, it was great. But it was a tough fight. Very tough. Can you explain what happened when you scored the goal? Was, how did you get the ball? I was just uh, lying on the right side of the goal and then uh, I don't know who passed me the ball but suddenly it was there and I grabbed the goalie and uh, I had his back so I could just turn him around and then I managed to just fight it in. Uh, that must have been a, an incredible feeling. Yeah. We had, we had, earlier in this tournament we had a couple of games where we scored a lot of goals and I, unfortunately I didn't manage to score a single one. Um, so uh, I'm glad that I, I did one and it was today. And when it counted, yes. yes. This must have been a frustrating tournament for you guys because there were high expectations that you would go to the final. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah, we felt the pressure and unfortunately we did not manage to score yesterday. So I'm, I'm just glad that we did today. Uh, but uh, we, would, would, we would have loved to be in the final today, uh, definitely. How many times have you come to Champions Cup? Me, myself, this is my first time. Wow, so what did you think of it? Well, I, I think it's a cool tournament. Uh, especially, I think that it's nice that uh, there are so many games and there's games all the time. Uh, it's, when you go home to the hotel, you can always watch a new game uh, live. That's, that's awesome. Yeah, nice tournament. And, and the pool is small here. Does that favor you? You're, uh, what? Yeah, I, I guess so. I guess so. Our, our pool in, in Copenhagen is not that big. So um, I guess this is, this is uh, could have been a little bit longer, but uh, it's a nice size. Quick game. Yeah. And what remains of the season now for uh, Flipper? Uh, EuroLeague. Yeah, we, we have the EuroLeague and then uh, we have the national tournament uh, still going on with the, the championships in, uh, in May, so that's it. And uh, Christian Schaefer is now the boss of underwater rugby in Denmark, so you can put a lot of pressure on him. You can just tell him, Chris, Christian, we want this, we want that. Yeah, I, I, I guess so, <laughs> I guess so. Are you going to try out for the national team to go to Graz next year? Yeah, definitely, definitely. That's, uh, that's my goal. Were you on the team before? Uh, kind of almost made it a couple of times. I, I haven't played uh, for such a long time. It's only my fourth year. So, uh, but I'm, I'm hoping for the World Championships this summer. You, your total career has only been four years long? Yeah. Wow. I believe I started in 2015 playing. Okay. So I played in uh, AMA, uh, where the girls are playing uh, now. And then uh, I changed to Flipper for this season in January. So how old were you when you started playing? Oh, it's 28, I guess. That's amazing. And were you a swimmer before? What was it, handball? A long time ago, yeah. 10, almost 15 years ago, I used to swim. How did you discover underwater rugby? Um, I had a, a friend who uh, told me about it, and then I just showed up, and then I found out that it was something for me. <laughs> and now I love it. Wow, that's great. Well, congratulations. Thanks very much. You'll be at the party tonight? Yes, most definitely. Right. Most definitely. Thanks.